Hello everyone, developers of V Rising published on official website full list of changes coming to the game with 1.0 release on May 8th. For those of you who don't want to read the whole article, I will summarize the most important changes here and give you an idea of what to expect from the full release of the game. The game will feature a brand new zone called Ruins of Mordium. This endgame region will be home to Dracula's Legion and feature the game's final boss Dracula, as well as introduce dynamic conflict events. These dynamic conflict events will pit you against Dracula's legions and provide exclusive resources. Old World is also getting an update in the form of Cargo Travelers. Cargo Travelers now travel the world and carry valuable loot in the form of weapons and resources, making every trip beyond the castle walls that much more exciting. Also, large mysterious area in the heart of Dunley farmlands will finally be open and we will learn that it is there where Dracula was defeated centuries ago by Church of the Light. The game will get a difficulty level update which will let players play at their own pace. Difficulty levels will be split into three categories, relaxed, standard and brutal, probably applying server-wide and letting players choose how they want to play the game. Brutal is meant for seasoned vampires to test their wits against enemies with new advanced techniques and twists to spice the journey up. Dracula will be joined in game by his legions of Noctum and mighty generals Yelena the Hollow, Cassius the Betrayer, and Valencia the Depraved, a set of new bosses for players to battle and master. Players can also battle Simon Belmont in the new Legacy of Castlevania DLC. Magic System is getting an overhaul that lets players unlock spells in the order that best suits their playstyles, letting them craft endgame builds early on. Weapons are also getting an update as Ancestral Weapons can now be upgraded to levels 23 and 26. Two new weapon types will be added to the game Whip and Bow. New legendary weapons with new abilities are being introduced to the game. Spider Form allows players to burrow underground and hide in broad daylight away from pesky enemies for those emergency moments like needing to use the bathroom or needing to get the door. And lastly, we're getting an entirely new level of armor with 10 plus armor sets and new equipment to help support different playstyles. Players will be able to relocate their castle by using some vampire magic and laying down the framework on the new plot of land. Seamless item management with improved UI and crafting speeds, new castle decorations, castle music player, achievement system, gamepad support, and new music all will be added in the 1.0 update. Overall, the game is getting a fresh coat of paint and feels like a much needed improvement, putting player choice in front and center as well as giving more power to players to face their toughest challenge yet. If you found this video useful, leave a like and share it. For more Verizon content, subscribe to my channel.